everyone and welcome back to my channel! In my last video I unboxed my Spice Orange Nintendo GameCube which I am totally obsessed with and today we are going to be unboxing a game for that GameCube. So what we have here is the Nintendo Puzzle Collection and this game was only released in Japan. After I purchased my GameCube I was looking around online and doing some research because I wanted a Japanese only GameCube game that I would really enjoy. And I think this one is going to be perfect. I absolutely love puzzle games and I absolutely love Nintendo. So it doesn't get much better than this, right? <laughs> okay, I'm not sure what I was expecting, but honestly, this is like way smaller than uh, what I thought it was going to be. Let's compare this box to, uh, to a North American one. I, you know, I just kind of assumed that the Japanese cases would be the same size as the North American cases, which, you know, we all know Japan tends to save a little money and save a little space, so I don't know why I was expecting that. But yeah, this box is, uh, is much smaller than what I was expecting. This is a used copy, but it's supposed to be complete. Um, from the pictures that I saw online, the box looks quite faded, but now that I see it in person, it looks pretty great. It doesn't look bad. Um, I actually almost spent a little bit more money to get a box that didn't look faded, so I'm, I'm glad that I didn't. Inside the box are... We have the Game Boy Advance cable. Now, I don't know if this is the original cable that came with this set, um, but it doesn't matter. We'll just pretend it is. Um, it looks like we have instructions for the link cable. And the game complete with slip cover and manual. Oh my gosh. This actually looks like it's in amazing condition. I mean, there are some scuffs on the um, exterior box, but I guess the sleeve does have a few scuffs too, but you know, I can overlook its flaws because it's mine and I, <laughs> and I love it, right? And that looks like that's all we have for the box, but the original cardboard insert is still in there, which is super cool. And my GameCube is still set up in my bedroom, which is not my normal gaming spot. It's just where I could quickly set the GameCube to test it after I unboxed it. Uh, but let's go ahead and test this game in there as well. There did not appear to be any issues with testing the game. I am so excited. The GameCube seems to work great. The game seems to work great. And I'm absolutely in love with this system. As always, thank you so much for joining me today for this unboxing video. If you haven't already seen, I recently created a Facebook page for Panda Bunny. The name is Panda Bunny Chi. Links will be in the description box below. I would really appreciate it if you went and liked that page. That'll be another place for our community to chat and keep in touch, as well as answer different questions about virtual pets, so be sure to check it out. You can also find me on Instagram, Discord, Twitter. All links will also be in the description box below if you're interested. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.